So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kim. And today we are doing a little vlog. I am on spring break, spring break 2022, and I'm at home. Um, yeah, I am a broke college student, so I did not go to like Florida. That's where everybody go, Florida. I did not go to Florida. So I'm at home. Me and my friends from school all came back to Richmond. One, because we all live here, except for one, Peyton. But she came because we're all here. So today we're going to do like a little outing day because Peyton kind of wants to explore Richmond since she's not from here. And we were thinking about going to the beach, but honestly, it's really no point because when it's still cold outside, like it literally just snowed two days ago. So I'm not ready to sit on the beach and be freezing. Two. I don't even know what I was talking about. Anyways, um, I'm getting ready. I kind of, I don't know about this outfit right now yet. I'm wearing low-waisted jeans to have like um flare bottoms and then this like turtleneck tank but it's wrinkly and it's throwing me off can i tuck it in and that looks stupid we're gonna figure out something else to do with that but i'll do my hair first so this is where ooh, this is what i look like when i wake up um not the cutest but mm. So, what we're going to need is water and some refreshing spray because we need to refresh these curls. Okay. So, got to get it pretty damp. Crazy thing is, we were supposed to leave at um 12. it's like 12 30 right now i just woke up not even five minutes ago because clea called me but um she called because taylor and peyton are literally still getting ready how look look if i am ready before them and they've been up the whole time because they have a problem with taking hours, going hours to get ready. Meanwhile, I can get myself to a, you know, a presentable look within 15 minutes. It's called time management, which they don't have. And I hope y'all are watching this and be like, oh my God, honey. Yeah, no. Get it together. Like, either start early, wake up at 8 a.m., uh -huh, and then be ready by 12. Or do half glam. Do bare minimum. Look presentable because you're pretty either way. And then, let's get the fuck. I have an excuse because I um, woke up late. But literally, if I knew I was late, I would just do my hair, not do anything to the face. I already have on the outfit, like, ooh. Let's say I was real late, everybody was on time, everybody already where they supposed to be at. I would do my hair. Um, face looks fine right now. And probably put on some jewelry and bounce. But, I mean, now that I have time, Gonna do something to my face. I want to fix a shirt because the wrinkles are really throwing me off. And maybe even make some breakfast. How much one day I'm gonna have time? <laughs> also, I don't know if I said this, but we're going to the museum. I live basically a hop, well, really a skip away from the museum. So once they're on the, oh, another body pin is flying out of my hair. So yeah, once, okay, new rant. 
I took my sister's like little dim and brush thing, right? And it's at school. I love that brush. Freak. It is the best thing since sliced bread. Um, so me thinking like being a good big sister, she's like, oh my God, you said my brush, it's my brush. I'm like, oh, that's my brush now. I had it for like two years now. You're not getting that back. So for Christmas, I got her a new one thinking I was doing something great. Like, haha, here, here's a new brush. Cause I'm gonna keep it one I already have. You know, this one sucks. This is like the hardest brush ever. And oh Lord, see, and it doesn't like glide through the hair. The one at home, I don't need all this water in my hair for it to like glide through it easily. This I feel like I feel like a little kid, my dad used to do my hair and just be pulling the heck out of it. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. This is a workout. Speaking of workouts, I, since I'm out of school, I mean, I'm making excuses. Could I go to the gym since I'm not at school? Yes, my parents have a YMCA membership. Do I feel comfortable going to an actual gym? That's not a college gym by myself, no. Um, For several reasons. We just moved to this area. So I've never been to this YMCA before. And one thing I hate is just not knowing my way around and just not feeling comfortable. Like, you don't know how long it took me to be comfortable with UREC. Like, I'm still not as comfortable because I've been wanting to get on a machine sometimes, you know. But, hold on, I'm looking for my product. My product's in my room, so I'm going to use my sister's Cure Care. This is leave-in conditioner. Um, I like the way this smells. But yeah, you don't know how long it took me to become the re wreck. And the machines, and I don't look stupid when I get on them. And then people are probably like, what the heck is this girl doing? She's doing it all wrong. That's why I need... Kalia is my gym partner, but I think if we could get an experienced gym head to help us with some stuff, that would be amazing. Because everything I know is from YouTube, not even YouTube, it's from TikTok videos, basically. Because my girl, I think her name is like Liana, Liana Marie or Liana something. She is that girl, like, she is my motivation, for real. Um, but yeah. You know what else will help me in the gym? Not really. But cute little outfits. I swear I would want to go to the gym more often just so I could wear them. Like, that is good motivation. Like, I'm going to the gym, but I'm also wearing these cute little matching sets. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyways, you see the muscle? Mm. Oh, oh, watch out. Mm -hmm. Bag up. I still got sleep marks on my arm. <laughs> That's how you know I just woke up. Okay, after I don't know how long. I might want to redo these braids in the front. I can get away with them for like two days. But after that, they get a little frizzy. They get a little frizzy, honey. Oh, also, you may be wondering, Cam, where have you been? Haha. <laughs> I know I said, oh yeah, new year, pushing out four videos a month. Child, please. Maybe I should start with more realistic goals. Like, maybe two videos a month. I mean, even February, I don't even think I posted one video. That's because February got a little hectic. You know, when life is great, you be making all these promises. But then once, I mean, that great, because, I mean, that great life thing ain't going to last for so long until something go left. So I was in a high, and then I hit a, I hit a slight low. It wasn't too bad. I'm, I'm good. I'm chilling. But I hit a slight, like, mm, <laughs> let's rethink some things. So, oh my gosh, this braid looks like dude.
Honestly, I was gonna wake up early today. I was wake up at nine, right? And I was gonna start this vlog at nine. Only reason why I was really excited was because I was gonna make my matcha. If you know me, you know I love my matcha. It just, I don't know. It's an acquired taste. Like not everybody will like the taste. Like you would. Mm, I prefer mine sweet. Like if you just order, okay, let's say you go to Starbucks and you just order a matcha. Um, nine times out of ten, you'd be like, "Look, it tastes like, like earthy, or like it's a little thick." But if you add some in it, so sometimes, well, most of the time, I get matcha with two pumps of raspberry, or you can get matcha with two pumps of classic, which is just a sweetener, which just makes it sweeter. But at home. Okay, I have matcha at school and I have matcha here. The my whatever my parents got, like whatever brand matcha got, what? Whatever brand my parents got of the matcha is better than the one I have at home. The one I have at home is really thin and when you pour it into the milk, because you add milk to matcha, it tastes like milk. Like I'm just drinking whole milk. And um so it wasn't all that good to me. So I have it, I gotta stop drinking it. And then I have this thing with milk. Like I can go, I can go through a half gallon of milk quick. Well, half gallon, a quart, a quart, half gallon, half gallon. I don't even know. Is it a quart? What's a half gallon? I think a quart is like, that's a pint. Whoa. Whatever it is, I can like either I go through it in a week or I never open it once I get it. Like, um, like let's, let's say like two weeks ago, I went through, I went through my milk so fast. Like I was drinking it every single day. One, because I was making the matcha Two, I guess whatever recipes I was making, I guess call up for a little bit of milk in it, I think. Maybe I was eating a lot of cereal. Or I was making smoothies. Whatever I was doing with milk, I used it fast. So I'm like, ooh, bad. So I go to the store and I buy another thing of milk. When I tell you I did not touch that thing of milk, which is very super wasteful of me. So I had to throw it away. I had to dump it all out because I went on spring break. And it was already past the seventh. Even though that was a sell by date, and you can drink it past the sell by date. But um I didn't want to risk it, so I just threw it away. And I was sitting, I'm like, Cam, bro, you need to do better. Cause the amount of people who would love to drink that milk and you just threw it all down the drain. It's super wasteful. And it's like you're also a college student. I don't even know how much milk costs. Because I feel like that's another thing that you don't look at the price tag at. Like, the necessities. So like, gas. Like, what What am I going to do about gas? I'm going to have to buy gas either way. I might not buy as much at one time. But I have to buy gas either way. So, like, bread, milk, eggs. I don't even know what else. But I, I don't know the price of that. Like, me neither. Because I don't be looking at the price of bread, eggs, nor milk. Because I'm gonna need to get it either way. It's no going around that. And like for the bread thing, you can I guess um get cheaper bread. But bread is not something that I like the bread bread brand is not something that I stray from. Like I stay on the brand bread that I know. And I feel like a lot of people do that. Like, I know my roommate does that with bacon. Like, she don't go buy no off-brand bacon. I don't, I don't buy off-brand bacon either. Off-brand bacon either. I, brand, I buy off-brand seasonings because I feel like pepper and stuff and salt. Well, actually, I don't buy off-brand salt. I use the lady with the umbrella thing. Um, but like Italian seasoning, food line brand. Um, Cayenne pepper, food line brand. Only stuff that like stop from my mom. Um, season salt, obey.
Um, I don't even know that. But yeah, the good name brand stuff, I don't stray for. But like, also chips. If you over here getting food line chips, uh, uh, I don't even know if they got that. Because I've never looked for off-brand chips. But I mean, no, buy within your means, for sure. Buy within your means. There's just some stuff that I personally could not <laughs> stray away from. Okay, I'm done with my hair. Which I guess could have went faster if I was talking, but yeah. Whatever. Okay, for my makeup, I just brought this foundation brush. You know, I said this in my last video. I'm just, I feel like I'm so outdated with the makeup thing. Like back in the day, I used to be so hip, watching all the makeup gurus, so I knew the products, I knew the techniques, I knew all that. But I feel like the makeup community kind of plummeted and it's not really talked about no more. Or like they just, I don't know. I'm not gonna say they switched up, but it's kind of like they got weird. I feel like all of them were in some type of controversy or mess. And so, yeah. I'm gonna be back because I need my makeup bumps. I do this every time just to get the excess mascara off the bottom of my lid. Because I find when I'm washing my face, um, it's still like, I don't know, it doesn't really need my eye, my eyelashes. Okay. I don't even know what I was saying anymore. I was talking about groceries. What a random topic. Um, yeah. Also, I saved these. I'm probably like, what? But I just used it for the bottom of my eyelids. And yes, a little um, mascara on it. But this is enough to save. Once again. If I can save it, I will. If I could have saved that milk, I would have. But <laughs> I was not ready to go down a half gallon or a quart, whatever size milk that is. No, it... Sometimes milk is good, sometimes and maybe I'm like half like vegan. Like sometimes meat or like meat products literally make me sick to my stomach. Like I remember I made some steak or whatever and like it was good. But then after the fact, I'm like something don't fair like it. And then like eggs, like I have this thing with eggs. Like also where like sometimes I like eggs and sometimes it's like, Ew. And then I don't really have that too much with chicken. Like chicken cool in my book. And I don't have that with seafood either. I'd be surprised if one day down the line I go like not pescatarian, but cut out dark gray meat. Dark meat, gray meat. So like only eat chicken and seafood. Cause basically I do that now, except for sometimes I try to like Mm. stray I don't know I don't like eating the same thing over and over again so I like I try to mix it up so I try to make like um pork chops maybe some steak or something I like hamburgers so that would be hard because like I'm not ready to eat no Beyond Burger no um also have yet to get a new foundation just something okay this is my first time using this brush so I hope it's good it's like painting my face um do I can I tell the difference between the beauty blender and the the actual brush I feel like the beauty blender really gets it into my skin and I feel like with the brush I'm just painting it on my skin and I don't feel like it's like really seeping into my skin. Like I feel like it just sits on there. I don't think I ever told you guys like my plans for today or what they were supposed to be. I don't think it's going to be this now. I was going to wake up, 
eat my matcha, eat some breakfast, eat my matcha, drink my matcha, eat some breakfast, get ready. Um, I was going to go to the film store because I just feel more comfortable with this one than any in Harrisonburg. So I was going to go to the camera store to get some film for my um, 35mm camera. But I could still go depending on when they're going to be ready. Or I can go after because, um, yeah, it's in Carytown. So nine times out of ten, we're going to eat lunch in Carytown. So I might just go then. But they close at four, so I might be hit depending on the time we get lunch. Okay, foundation is on. Now I'm going to do some concealer. that my powder is at school which is no good and my setting spray which is no good might have to see what my oh my god my mother's on vacation so she probably took all of her makeup with her oh my god what is this is this red it is crazy thing like I said finish my whole face guess what they still not ready what do they be doing god knows what literally god knows what I, that literally this was three minutes this was a good long time for me like usually I kick this out within 15 but I'm talking and I'm not really rushing but they still not done what, 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 what were they doing did they wake up late too? Like, I'm confused. Okay. And unfortunately, I ran out of contacts. So I have to wear my glasses and boo on me because I was supposed to make my appointment for spring break. But spring break, like, snuck up on me. So ooh, I didn't realize until literally the week before. Then it was spring break and for my eye doctor they take freaking like months ahead appointments but i need to try to make one for april because um i have a trip planned and i'm gonna need contacts because ain't no way okay she's cute whatever she's cute whatever let me bring y'all to the light so y'all can see me. Oh, isn't she cute? She's cute. Okay. Now, I really like it. Came out really nice. Now, I need to figure out a new outfit because this one ain't hitting on like two cents right now. And to help me with that, this is going to be my sister's um. my sister's um closet i what the heck are those pants all right so i'm going to try on this new outfit and i'll come back um once i have my outfit picked out okay so this is the outfit that i came up with top is from fashion nova a very long time ago these were thrifted, and these are my sisters, Woo -hoo. who doesn't know I'm wearing her shoes, because she's at school. But I don't know where these are from. 
at all. I would try to help y'all, but I really don't know. But you can find them pretty much anywhere. But I think I look very cute. Is this um museum worthy? I mean, it's cool. I'm chilling. Now I need to find a jacket. And my friends now said that they're on the way. So look at me. Full face outfit. Haven't eaten though. Oh, look at sir. <laughs> Haven't eaten, but basically ready within the time that it took for them to get ready. So yeah, I'm gonna be back. Probably I'll talk to y'all like once I get in the car. Um yeah. Bye. Y'all got on this fat fat puffer it is warm very warm very toasty like i'm so confused by this weather because it was literally snowing not two days ago but yeah all right so i didn't have time for my matcha but i got um capri sun and a glass of fruit because um, I'm hungry. And if I'm walking around a museum, I need something to eat. I forgot my earring. Okay. I have to take this one out. Problem solved. I did that twice because I have another earring in here. Okay. Let me put in the directions because they said there was 10 minutes ago. Oh, they was on the way around 15 minutes ago. And that's a good starting point for me to start driving because I think we got probably about 10 minutes left. Ooh. So yeah, I'm gonna hit you guys back up once I get to the museum. Okay. Okay. Hi. Hi. Where's here? Hi. Oh Lord, I'm a strip. Make the sound of what you think a cricket sounds like. Ear. No. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> she said ear. <laughs> what does cricket sound like? Make the sound of what you think a broken motor sounds like. <laughs> Nothing. <Yeah. laughs> I know that pretty no, well. No, like when it's about to break down, he's about to be like, please. Oh God. <laughs> Um, I don't know which way to go, I think. I don't know where I'm going to go. Maybe we should try this way. I don't know. <laughs> I remember. Oh, Lord. Here she goes. I'm stuck. Lime stuck? Mm -hmm. I mean lime stuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> I know all about that. <laughs> You got their mask in here still? No, this old man right <laughs> walking up in there. I mean, I had an ex who do it. He walked in there, no problem. Uh, Wait, let me see. You have to pay to get it. No, it's free. Glossy. Yeah, the top one's matte, the second one's glossy. <laughs> what she said? 
It does look like fungus. And it's sparkling. Like mold? Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I thought you were saying a picture of that. Wow. We just made art. <laughs> okay, I forgot to update. But we are on the way to Mellow Mushroom. Or whatever. I got my film from the store. Which was super quick and easy. They didn't have the one I needed, but it'll do. My dog is currently forcing me to pet him, but I'm back from getting lunch with the girls and going to the museum. It was pretty fun. Uh, yeah, nice little day. Man, this dog is ridiculous. And it was a cute fun little day. Um, yeah, currently here, oh Lord, with my dog and yeah. So I think that's basically all that I have planned for today. Um, I took some pictures, so I'm probably going to sit here and go through them so I can post them and just chill my dog until my sister gets home. But if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Also like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.